Semantic cessation or cessation. Semantic cessation is a psychological phenomenon in which repetition causes a word or phrase to temporarily lose meaning for the listener, who perceives the speech as repeated meaningless sounds. Extended inspection or analysis staring at the word or phrase for a lengthy period of time is a example of extended inspection or analysis in place of repetition also produces the same effect leon jacobovitis james coined the phrase semantic cessation cessation in his 1962 doctoral dissertation at mcgill university it was demonstrated as a stable phenomenon that is possibly similar to a cognitive form of reactive inhibition prior to that the expression verbal cessation, I don't know how to, cessation, had been used along with terms that expressed the idea of mental fatigue. The dissertation listed many of the names others had used for the phenomenon. Many other names have been used for what appears to be essentially the same process. Inhibition, Herbert, 1824, in Boring, 1950. Refractory phrase and mental fatigue, Dodge, 1917, semicolon. 26a lapse of meaning bassett and warren 1919 work decrement robinson and bills 1926 cortical inhibition pavlov 1920 uh adaption gibson 1937 extinction hilgard and marquis 1940 Sation, Kohler, and Wallach, 1940 reactive inhibition hull 1913 sick i don't know what sick is i know circa i don't know sick Stimulation, cessation, Glanza, 1953, Reminiscence, Evensic, 1956, Verbal Cessation, Smith and Regal, 1956, and Verbal Transformation, Warren, 1961, B. James prevented several experiments that demonstrated the operation of the semantic cessation effect in various cognitive tasks such as rating words and figures that are presented repeatedly in a short time verbally repeating words then grouping them into concepts adding numbers after repeating them out loud and bilingual translations of words repeated in one or two languages in each case the subjects would repeat a word or number for several seconds then perform the cognitive task using that word it was demonstrated that repeating a word prior to its use in a task made the task somewhat more difficult. An explanation for the phenomenon is that in the cortex, verbal repetition repeatedly arouses a specific neural pattern that corresponds to the meaning of the word. Rapid repetition makes both the peripheral sensor sensory motor activity and the central neuron activation fire repeatedly. This is known to cause reactive inhibition. Hence, a reduction in the intensity of the activity with each repetition. Jacobitis James, 1962, calls this conclusion the beginning of the experimental neurosemantics. Experimental neurosemantics. Studies that further explored semantic cessation include the work of Pelotti, Anthropus, and Duff, 1997, which claimed that it is possible that the true locus of this phenomenon is plesmantic instead of semantic adaption. There is also the experiment conducted by Kurunus, Kurunus et al. and friends, 2000, which revealed that semantic cessation is not necessarily a byproduct of impoverishment of perpetual inputs. Jago Bovitis cited several possible semantic cessation applications, and these include its integration in the treatment of phobias through systematic cessation, desensitize, uh, desensitization, oh my god. He argued that in principle, semantic cessation as an, an applied tool ought to work wherever some specific cognitive activity mediates some behavior that one wishes to alter. An application has also been developed to reduce speech anxiety by stutterers by creating semantic cessation through repetition, thus reducing the intensity of the negative emotions triggered during speech. There are studies that also linked semantic cessation in education. For instance, the work of Tarian and Huba, 2010, explored the impact of this phenomenon on the word learning and effective reading. The authors claim that the process can serve as a unique approach to test for discounting through loss of association. 
since it allows the separation of the lexical level from the semantic level effects in the meaning-based task that involves repetitions of words. Semantic cessation has also been used as a tool to gain more understanding on language acquisition, such as those studies that investigated the nature of multilingualism. Ba 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 Look at the C also. Ooh, olfactory fatigue. Interesting. Scat singing. Is that like poo-poo? References. These are always good to look at. You can actually find papers with Wikipedia. It's so awesome. It's a nice way to like... <laughs> I don't know. It's not really a cheat, but you can uh, do less work in looking for sources for your papers. Let's say you have a topic on... First World War, you type in First World War on the Wikipedia, and then you go to the sources they use, and then you use those sources or sources that branch off from there, like tangential sources and whatnot. Very easy this way. <laughs> Wikipedia is really useful. You can just, like, go off on Wikipedia. It's like a YouTube algorithm. You can find more and more papers this way. It's really nice. All right.